Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 review stuff. And yes, I am back for another Starbucks review. And yes, I did just get my hair cut. I don't know much about clothes, but my hair looks fierce. <laughs> Little Amanda Lepore for you today. How are you guys doing? It is cloudy in Indiana. It is cold. It is 42 degrees outside. It is... I feel like winter is trying to come back into Indiana, just like this hair is trying to come down. Like, you, do you remember like what they call them like back in the day, you know? Like uh, in the 50s, like when the guys would have their hair like, you know, down like, was it the Fonz? Had his hair like that, the Fonz. I love the Fonz so much, I'm happy days. Anyway, anyway, basically all my videos are just <laughs> pop cultural references from the past. Okay, today I'm going to be reviewing the oatmeal cookie latte, and I am so excited about it. Um, I'm actually somebody that, like, oatmeal cookies, it's interesting. Over time, I have become a real fan of oatmeal cookies. When I was a kid, I couldn't stand them. I hated them. But, like, over time, I have really started to love oatmeal cookies to where they're, like, probably one of my favorite cookies. Now, I will tell you, I, I like raisins, but I don't like raisins in my oatmeal cookies, which is interesting because she references this in the recipe. So, are you ready for the recipe? This is from Katie over at TotallyTheBomb.com. Hi, Katie. Thank you for your recipe. Um, so, Katie says, this Starbucks oatmeal cookie latte will satisfy your sweet tooth. <laughs> and she has a little picture here of the cookies. I am a bit I'm a I am a big fan of oatmeal cookies. Not the kind with raisins. See, me neither. <laughs> We're basically twins. Uh, because raisins are ew, she said. Now, now I like raisins, okay? I like, you know, all kinds of dried fruit. Because <laughs> I'm basically a dried fruit. But anyway, but then I, I digress. She goes on and says, but I am all in for oatmeal cookies with chocolate chips. The first time that I had oat milk in a latte, I noticed that it that it did taste distinctly OT. Well, it's oat milk. I mean, okay, girl. It reminded me of oatmeal cookies. And here she's got a picture on. And you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but her fingernails are so cute. She's got every picture she takes, she's got them, uh, like, uh, painted really cute. This, they're polka dots. So, I am elevating the oat milk latte to a new level. I created a new oatmeal chocolate chip cookie latte for the Starbucks secret menu. And then here she has another picture standing out in front of Starbucks. The latte has everything you want from a perfect oatmeal cookie. The hearty nuttiness, uh, and I love a good nut, you know. <laughs> oh my lord! Uh, the hearty nuttiness of the <laughs> nuts, like almonds, peanuts, peanuts, P-E-A-N-U-T-S. Dirty people out there. Okay, anyway, let me get back to my family-friendly review. The latte has everything you want from a perfect oatmeal cookie. The hearty nuttiness of the oats and the perfect sweet contrast of chocolate is so hot in this car. Woo! The cookies are done. The oatmeal cookies are done. And here she has another picture of it. Just be sure to grab the recipe below. This drink can't be found on the regular Starbucks menu. Okay, and then she has another picture. How to order a chocolate chip oatmeal latte. Order a venti ice latte made with oat milk. You can also order this as a hot latte. We're gonna do ice, because you know I like my ice drinks. So anyway, I haven't had coffee yet today either, so I'm getting coffee. Add two pumps of mocha, add two pumps of brown sugar syrup, top the latte with oat milk foam and chocolate drizzle. <clears throat> and that's it. So uh, yeah, there you go. And I've got my cup for my coffee. Are you ready? Let's do it. Ain't nothing to it. Okay, let's go over here to Starbucks. Get our coffee for the day. Have you had your coffee for the day? Oh my God, I feel like lately so many people are sending me pictures <laughs> of them holding their Starbucks drinks that they are reviewing that I like reviewed over here and then they'll go. And I love it so much. It makes me so happy when people send me those pictures or tweet them out to me. I love it. It's kind of rainy today. When I was taking the dogs out, I thought, is it gonna snow today? Like, is it really gonna be that cold? Do you hear it? It's kind of drizzling and it's not good. I'm trying to fix my hair a little bit. I do like the product that she used on my hair. I don't know what it is though. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I'm hungry. <laughs> are you hungry? You are? Is it your lunchtime? Are you watching this on your lunchtime? What are you having? Are you having a PB and J with the crust cut off? <gasps> you are? Oh my God. 
I can remember when I was growing up, my mom would always try to get fancy with my lunches sometimes, you know? And like, she would kind of go through phases. Like, it would be real normal, and then it would be, well, um, she'd ask, we would go through the menu, you know, the school lunch menu, and she would say, like, which days I wanted to take lunch and which days I wanted to buy lunch. And there was this stuff that I loved. It's, it was called Johnny Marzetti, and, um, it was like spaghetti lasagna, and I loved it. And whenever they had Johnny Marzetti, I was always like super excited, you know. But anyway, so those were the days that I bought the lunch. But my mom would be like, do you want to, you know, we would go through. And so then she knew which days to make me lunch. But I remember that my mom went through this phase where she got like real healthy, like whole wheat and all that kind of stuff, you know. Back then when I was growing up, like whole wheat and skim milk, that was healthy, right? Now it's just like those are everyday things that people use. But back then it wasn't. Like nobody drank skim milk. We all drank like full milk. What was it called? Full fatness or whatever <laughs> total fat milk <laughs> but anyway and I can remember when my mom first got skim milk and I thought it was like had water in it or something it tasted so gross could I please get a venti iced blonde Americano with uh, an extra shot and one Splenda of course. And then I need to make a drink, too. All right. Give me one second to punch that Americano for you. Okay. Right. That's iced, too. Yeah. Venti iced blonde Americano with Splenda. Yeah. Exercise. Yeah. Perfect. All right. What, are we, what am I making for you today? Okay. I need to get a venti iced latte made with oat milk. Venti iced latte made with oat milk. Okay. Two pumps of mocha. All right. Two pumps of brown sugar syrup. You got it. And I need to top the latte with oat milk foam and chocolate drizzle. And that's it. Oh, okay. This, this is the good. chocolate chip oatmeal cookie latte. This one sounds good. I may have to try this. I know. I think this sounds good, too. All right. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Thanks, man. No problem. It's going to be 12.10 for you. Okay. 12.10 for some coffee. Oh, my lanta. But anyway, I love the Johnny Marzetti. I love Pizza Day. Um, what else did I love? I can't remember. But my mom, she got like into this real healthy thing. And I remember as if I was looking for more things to get made fun of. Today, I think this would actually be kind of a cool lunch. And I'll say this and everybody will be like, yeah, we do that for our kids all the time. What's the big deal? But back then, nobody did it. And my mom always tried to get like real fancy and stuff, you know, and she would put notes in my lunchbox, which is so sweet in retrospect. But at the time I was kind of like embarrassed, you know, I mean, I, it wasn't like I was looking for more things, like I said, for kids to make fun of me for, you know, and I, she made my sandwiches out of pita bread. She would cut a pe you know, a pita bread thing in half and then she would put the lunch like turkey and lettuce and stuff and it would be real fancy. And she put like fancy different kinds of fruit in there that nobody had ever heard of before. Of course, I got made real fun of for that, you know? But anyway, she tried. Mama tried. She did. You guys know that song, Mama Tried? I love that song so much. But anyway, my mom tried so hard. She really did. But she, uh, I feel bad for the person that goes in front of me that wants to pay for my, <laughs> they're like, I'd like to pay for the car behind me. That'll be 35, 26. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Um, my mom tried so hard, but I remember this one time she made um, she made whole wheat pot, like spaghetti, and I thought it was the nastiest thing on the face of the earth. Oh, it's Veronica today. Veronica. Hey there. I literally just got here like ten seconds ago. Well, it was just because you wanted to see me. Aww. Hey Ben, how are you? Good. Another story, I had to go to this tennis thing one time, this like gathering that we had, and uh, it was at like the end of the year, and my mom made this, this is kind of a sad story, <laughs> she made this, I had to bring a dessert, like depending on your age, you had to bring like an entree dessert, you know, salad, whatever. So I had to bring a dessert, so my mom made this fruit pizza on whole wheat, it was nasty, okay? I, well, I don't know if it was nasty because I didn't try it. But anyway, it, nobody touched it the whole night, right? 
and I just sat. It's a real sad story. I've told this story in my vlog before. I didn't have my one friend didn't show up, and I sat by the pool the entire night until my mom came. But anyway, when she came, I took that. It was like in this glass dish. It was, looked like a pizza, but in a glass dish. I took that glass dish and I like pitched the pizza out of it into the thing. And my mom was like, "Oh, everybody liked my uh, pizza." And I was like, "Yeah, mom," because I didn't want her feelings to be hurt. I was always so protective of my mom's feelings. I didn't want her feelings to be hurt that nobody liked her pizza. It wasn't. It didn't look very good. It, did, it looked weird, kind of. It really did. It looked so weird. I was like so embarrassed to bring that pizza in there, you know? Anyway. <laughs> but those are the things you think about when you're a kid. Listen, if you're a parent, you really should think about that. You should not be taking, make your kids take weird food places. You shouldn't. And if a friend comes over to eat, don't make weird food. Just have pizza. Just have pizza and ask them what they want on it, you know? Don't be doing weird stuff. Here's my first drink. I have your Americano. Thank you, dear. And he's still working on your luggage. Okay. So what's the drink this week? What is it? This is the chocolate chip oatmeal cookie latte. Ooh, how fancy and fun. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited too. Well, what's your favorite I'm secret menu drink, Veronica? Oh. I have one that I wanted to try and I haven't tried it yet. It's a butterbeer frappuccino. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it's fantastic. I don't know. Usually I just like make whatever feels feels. Yeah, like what's good. usually your drink of the day? Like what do you have most days? Well, lately I've been getting a venti iced pistachio latte with oat milk. Oh, that sounds and good. Two shots of espresso instead of three. Oh, that sounds good. I think the pistachio and the oat milk just complement each other very, very well. I think you just gave me an idea. I'm gonna start coming through and whoever's on the menu, I'm gonna say, order me what your drink is. And I'm gonna try that. Oh, look, he did perfect. Thank you, Ben. Oh, coming off the top. Oh, that's fantastic. Do you want a straw? Uh, probably. There you go. I guess probably is not an answer. Yes, thank you. See you later. Have a wonderful day. One of the things that just drives me crazy is when you ask somebody a question like, would you like a straw? And they say, mm, I, maybe, I don't know. I'm like, just say yes or no. And then she said, do you want to, would you like a straw? And I said, probably, which is totally not an answer. Okay, Peter, what is wrong with you? Is this out of focus? Oh my God, it never does that to me. It does that to me on my vlog all the time, but it never does that to me on my review videos. Okay. I don't know why my hair looks be good for the review. Let's try this. Okay, I'm ready. Oh my god, that is so weird. It does totally taste like an oatmeal a chocolate chip cookie. Like, totally. I mean, it's because of the oat milk and the, the mocha in there, but it tastes exactly, you guys. It tastes, I don't even have it that stirred up. Who's texting me? I don't even have it that stirred up. It tastes exactly, exactly like a chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. That's uncanny. That is weird. <laughs> Speaking of weirdness, that is so weird. Let me put the straw in here and see if it's even better with the mixing it up. I'm mixing up, I'm mixing up for your love. Okay. Well. The ice needs to settle a little bit in it because it was kind of warm at the bottom and I wasn't ready for all that. It's more chocolatey when you mix it up. But yeah, that tastes just like, God, that's the weirdest thing. I'm giving this a five out of five. That is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. <clears throat> well, Katie. You scored out of the park today. So anyway, five out of five for that drink. You guys go try it. Let me know if you like if you like oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. If you don't, then don't try it. I guess try some refresher that I've reviewed or something. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.